word for it is necrophiliac. So, like, what you have, there's heaps of people out there. There's a whole community. You can probably get in touch with someone else. Chat room. Exactly. You can go on some chat rooms. Matter we love? Yeah. Welcome to episode number 26 of the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. Oh, man. We come to you with some broken hearts. We're trying not to swear in the first 10 minutes. I don't, honestly, I don't think that'll make that much of a difference because of all the content we already have it's out in the world. guys. It's starting to happen. So, starting like three days ago, I got a notification saying that one of the podcasts has been age-restricted. And age-restricted means you basically, even if you search the exact title, usually you can't even see it. Oh, is this another one? No. Huh. Usually you can't even see it. Or well, doesn't the video won't even come up and like it literally just stops. It, it may as well just be deleted. All right. It's basically that's what it means. And it's not good. And then after that, shortly after that, more came in, more came in. And since I think we've had ten videos age restricted in the last three days. So it's it's happening. We've spoken about it. We knew it was gonna happen. Here comes the censorship train heading straight for our backs and we're just sitting at the park enjoying a picnic and we don't even see the train choo-choo train its engine is full of steam and it's just powering towards us maybe 150 miles an who's hour. it going for mainly both of us both of us and matt's sitting in front of us he can see it coming but he doesn't know how to explain it matt's just saying like i don't know what like pointing and we're just like matt come on and no, then bang! the train is now 10 meters away and this is what happens, okay? First, age restrictions, then videos start getting deleted and we get strikes and then the channel gets deleted. It could happen like if fucking like that. So if you wake up one day and our YouTube channel isn't there, that's what's happened. Our videos have started getting deleted and we've started getting strikes. So we're a bit fucking s- shit. We f- it sucks, dude. I just swore, man. Oh, you suck. So we talked about it and we're like, oh, maybe we'll try and tone it down for the first five minutes and then just go back to normal and we'll also and comment and tell us what you think about this like we we're think considering just toning it back a little bit with the gross shit in particular because we know that youtube hates gross shit we've had shit removed from our main youtube channel for being too disgusting do you remember when i got put that shit on on your mouth from with the toilet brush yeah yeah so that was too disgusting um and it got removed so i have a feeling that we're in i I thought we'd we'd be much bigger when this started happening to be honest and we'd have some more options the other thing is um we've started matt brown's only fans well not matt brown's it's the fully actual only fans matt brown will feature heavily in it though because it's what he wants to do is dress up in silly clothes and be all fancy and sexy he keeps saying he wants to be sexy he keeps messaging me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's fucking... What's the latest with that? We've got to do... Send some documents in because we're all in the profile yeah, picture. it's gotten so hard. Now, you they expect for the profile picture to just have one person in the profile picture. If there's more than one person, then the other two picture... The other two people in the picture have to send in their consent to say, yeah, I'm okay for being on this OnlyFans account. So, it's like so fucking fucked up. So, we're just going to put a photo of our logo, I think. We'll try yeah. that. Yeah. We could do the podcast so it, logo. The first stage yeah. has happened. We've actually created it. Now, we've just got to like confirm it. Yeah, we've got to get it verified and then we're going to start posting to it. And I think we're probably going to start posting our podcasts to it. If we ever do need to post all of our podcasts to the OnlyFans, don't worry. We're not going to charge you guys to listen to the podcast ever. But fuck, it would suck. If the YouTube train so much work. hit us in the back. <clears throat> like, so I guess, yeah. So demotivating. Just if you can, go, because it's free, the OnlyFans, go follow that just for safety in case. This That's gets if you deleted. can. We, we may need to verify it first, but it's like live now. We've set it up. Will the mm. guys need to actually sign up to OnlyFans to actually be able to follow it? Yeah, but I think it's really... Is it easy to sign up to OnlyFans? You can, you can sign in with Twitter, but like to make it's, an account isn't hard at all. Yeah, to, okay. yeah to, so to sign to sign up to OnlyFans is easier if you're like just consuming the content. But if you're a content creator on OnlyFans, it's fucking tricky. Really tricky now. They're making it very my difficult. My verification got declined. I sent in a photo of myself and my ID card and they said that's not the same person. What the so fuck were you doing making an OnlyFans? Sorry. Are you making OnlyFans, Julian? 
Julian's just slipped yeah. up and, and said that he's made an OnlyFans, but he couldn't get verified even though he sent in the right documentation. I yeah, hope that doesn't happen to us. I look like a Mexican cartel member in my ID photo. I've got a uh, bald head and a mustache. You're beautiful, Julian. I love You're a beautiful you. Mexican boy. I love you, Julian. Mm, I love you. <clears throat> I love you. So that's the fucking shit that's happened uh, this week. It's not good. Yeah, fuck. It's a that's rough. That's yeah. rough. So yeah, just for safety, if you can be bothered, create an OnlyFans or just sign up to OnlyFans and follow it. It's free. Yeah, yeah. We'll make it free and we'll slowly start pushing people there. And we'll hopefully, I don't know. We'll see what we can do about all these videos getting age restricted fuck, and, and deleted. Crossed. Imagine this is the last week. Shh! Don't even put that out there, man. Sorry. Don't even put. You take that back. Quick, I reach out. <laughs> Oh, I nearly got away from you, man. A wafer. You. Yeah. Okay, so, but we're going to keep fucking pushing. We love doing the podcast and we love that it's growing and swelling and sick fucks. So, please, if you can't support us any other way, just fucking subscribe. Give it a big old thumbs up and just comment some shit, okay? If you can't think of a comment, just comment the best or just the word comment. Or even just a strange sentence. Yeah, just a strange we read sentence. Them. It's nice when I'm high. It's funny to read weird shit. Yeah. So, we read all the there comments. There has been some really good ones. I fucking love like, laugh sitting down at the end of the day after the podcast has come out and just fucking getting high and reading the comments. It's, it's, fun. So, it's so different to like a normal video because it's like yeah. they get you. You guys just get us, you know what I mean? You understand. You know who we are, can't. Do you know what I mean, cunt? You are ass. But anyway, the sponsors of this podcast, we've got fucking manscaped.com. So if you want to buy any male grooming shit like shavers and waxes and eyebrow fuckers and eyelid tog togs, you just fucking go to manscaped.com and use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20. All right? And that gives you 20% off whatever you buy. So if you need some male grooming shit, anyway, you may as well just go to manscaped.com because it's really good quality. It's better than what you can get at Carl's and Woolies, Matt. And you get 20% off. So, fucking suck on that one. And, of course, this podcast is also brought to you by the University of Michael, our subscription website, where we post weekly, like, vlogs, 30 minutes long. We do fucking fucked up shit that we can't post to social media. All right? That's where we post it. It's so fucking disgusting. Sometimes I even think, like, this is too much. Our website is too fucking disgusting. We need to steer away from the fucked and more some, just some classic brutal physical pain humor all right man but anyway if it's a 21 day free it's a 21 day free trial so the link's in there so you just fucking sign up you can see if you like the videos if you like and you stay on if you don't just unsubscribe it's fucking easy and paypal is available now for all you oh, fuckers we did it paypal is available now to fucking sign up to come do you know what i'm fucking saying come <laughs> is there anything else that's fucking happened come that we need to fucking go over, cunt. Is that five minutes? Can I swear now? You swore <laughs> 28 times. Oh, whoa. You've been keeping tally? Swearing swearing gets videos demonetized, but it certainly doesn't get them age restricted. Oh, for or now, I bet you it does or it will. Yeah, well, it hasn't like it. You it's know, not yet. No, they've they eased up on it a bit. YouTube yet. realizes that they've, they, they've literally eased up on oh, the swearing. Oh, yeah, you did say that. Yeah. At least 24 of them were f-bombs and the rest was c-bombs <laughs> and then really swearing and then but you said it all in the space of like four minutes yeah, yeah if you combo it it's like it's like a negative with a negative it makes just, it positive a, just an expression it's just how people fucking express themselves cunt like if i want to fucking drive a point home cunt i'll fucking throw an f-bomb in and i'll fucking pepper it and fucking dust a bit of cunt on top of it cunt shit that's man. just how i fucking talk it's how i communicate cunt shit everyone i fucking know knows i fucking talk like this cunt shit you don't have to copy it you don't have to fucking choose to be offended by it cunt it's just how i fucking talk you dumb bitch shit tell us about the uh scammer you had this week or last week oh yeah i've been um because this is a scammer dm'd us on instagram it was a saturday night i was at home i'd had a few cheeky sucks of slut <laughs> and um i got this message from this scammer and i thought to myself oh, i'm gonna totally fuck with this guy and then i started fucking with him and i was posting screenshots to instagram story and i got him i made him call me king mardos by the end come wasted fucking hour of his time <laughs> really <laughs> He's called me King Mardos. Come. He, call, <laughs> he got him to call him King Mardos. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so he'll send him money. 
Oh, I see. I see. And the Conor McGregor, the inst- I don't know if anyone's been seeing it. Like we get ta- every time Conor McGregor posts now, we get tagged like a hundred times. As instantly as soon as he's tagged. So like I feel obligated now to comment on all of Dude, his posts. Well, if you've started it, you may as well continue. But it. now people are like, oh, you guys, it's getting pathetic. You guys just hunting for attention. It's fucked. You guys are doing it on Who the co- coattails of someone say. else. Fuck but it. man, it hurts my feelings, man. And I fucking love ripping the haters to shreds in the comments. Because they're That's so what- fucking like, it's so stupid to get offended at a fucking comment. McGregor would laugh if he saw them. He wouldn't get angry. So yeah, calm dude. down, you we fucking psychos. Snowflake world. But man. like, keep it up. If people are tagging you, they want it. So there's going to be haters. But we are losing lovers. a lot of followers. Though. That's like, okay. The first time I did it, yeah, we lost like. like Trust it. Do like, it for I, a while. I did it. I just went nuts and started commenting on so many like trending posts. And yeah, we lost like a, a couple of thousand in like a space of two Why hours. Why would you let it grow? Give it a go. Followers from commenting on. Because when people are scrolling through their news feed, they would see if they follow us, Marty and Michael, the top comment as on every single post as they scroll down. And I guess some people just get annoyed at that. Like, oh, fucking attention seekers. And then they think that us, because they follow us, that us commenting on this post is pushing it to their feed or something. Wasn't there a comment about some dude saying, oh, you guys get paid per comment? Some dude's like, oh, this fucking comment's got thousands of likes. I wonder how much money Connor's made from this. You guys are just trying to make Connor money. (laughs) Man, you have no idea how social media works. You You know him. Silly boy. Um, Well, there you go. Fucking. I reckon continue. Who votes continue? Julian? Yeah, why not? I can continue. Um, but yeah, the podcast is in a... We, we might have to rein it in, guys. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Um, but we'll fucking... Look, we're fucking... No matter what, we're going to keep doing this fucking podcast, even if we have to start again. And we'll we, we're always... Lot. if There'll be a video version, I guess, here on OnlyFans. But... We'll just do a live traveling show forever. We- we should also exactly it's right. always exactly going to be right. on Spotify, SoundCloud, all those other platforms, right? You yeah, will, audio. Uh, yeah. the the audio versions have had no problems at all, so you can always listen to it on audio. But yeah, it's a lot more. It's fun just not the same. same. It's more intimate. It's when more when intimate when you together. can see the ass cheeks parting and then hear the sound. <laughs> <laughs> and we, you know, there's little things you miss without the video. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You yeah. see our faces, mate. <laughs> other than that, nothing else has really happened, eh? I can't remember much anymore. What did we do on the weekend? Uh, we played a bit of golf. We did, dude. Fuck me. Michael's been fun. practicing a lot in his spare dude, time. I played 52 holes of golf in oh. one day. It's a par three course, but still, that is fucking- You only got a hole in one. I was this far, like six inches from getting a fucking hole in one. Is that a six inches in there? Is that correct? I don't know. That looks smaller. Yeah, think of a subway, half a subway. Oh, okay. Yeah, about there. Yeah, about there. <laughs> <laughs> That's how oh. I do my measuring anyway. Sorry. <laughs> half a sub. Yeah, dude. Very fun. And <clears throat> Matt, you're improving. Yeah, I did. I got a couple of threes. You got a par? I was very impressed. So, Is there anything else? happy or times. And they're going a bit straighter. Mm. Um, yeah, so that's the uh, update with the OnlyFans as well. Hopefully, we'll have it up and running, maybe even when this episode's out. If it is, we'll put the link in the description. And if not, um, it, hopefully in the following week or whatever, we're just going to have to figure all these little obstacles out. But yeah, that's that's the issues we're running to at the moment. But fucking, what can you do? Just keep on fucking trucking, brother. Two. Two. Yeah, our fucking sense of humor is um, it's not it's not right for the world. It's gone. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much for the people out there and they can't handle it. Here's some diary entries. What's that speaking, saying? Speaking yeah. of humor that people can't handle, here's <laughs> the diary entries, cunt. Why are you saying handle like that? Handle. <laughs> That's how you say it. Handle. 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 How do you say it? Handle. 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 Fucking Aussie cunts. Handle. Fucking articulate your fucking words, you dumb cunts. Handle. Hand- handle. Twins looking at handle. me sexy. Oh, 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 too much. I can't see Too much. It's, no. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Diary entry number 133 from Michael Corey Brookhouse. Today I woke up in a wet patch. I was at my girlfriend's house and needed to act fast. I tried drying it with my pants, but it wasn't fully working. I ripped the sheet off the bed and squeezed as much piss out as possible. I panicked and flipped the mattress. Then I realized, problem solved. 
All you have to do when you piss the bed is flip the mattress. As long as you wait two nights before pissing yourself again, you'll be fine. Maybe I will write a book. I wish I could read. <laughs> and that is something that Michael did figure out in his journey to his 30s. If anyone ever wants to animate something, can you please animate that? <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, it works because the gravity, um, if you like piss and it's wet, it, you got to act quickly because the piss will eventually soak in through the mattress entirely. But if you flip it, it'll soak back to the surface and dry and then l- leaving the other side completely. I've seen it work. It's, well, it's pretty dude, impressive. <laughs> that just hasn't worked with girlfriends, but it does work. And Ma- so, Michael, he wouldn't even like it. To begin with, he maybe would drag his mattress out and let it bake in the sun for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> kill all the smells and stuff but it got to a stage where Michael was very happy just flipping the mattress <laughs> and going back to sleep it got too heavy it got too heavy too down f- the stairs too full of piss oh. so mm. on one bed shout out to you guys somehow it just goes to the piss like disappears into another dimension mm. I remember on our boys trips we would um we would get there and everyone would be running in and picking their room and getting all excited and like our friend James would be making Michael's Nest. bed in the in, in the bathtub <laughs> I'd I'm sleep like, in every bar. Every boys trip well, is you. Your bed's out ready. <laughs> <laughs> so, my, we just always build Michael a little nest. Bar tubs, <laughs> if you're fucked up, they're comfortable. You're going to sleep in it. Fine. I always worry that we're going to come in the next morning and he'll be face down drowned <laughs> in the bath. <laughs> I've turned the water on. Oh. Diary entry number 102 from Marty. <clears throat> Today, I got to play with my rocks. <laughs> Once a month, mum lets me play with them on the weekend. The rocks even look like real people if you close your eyes and imagine real people. It makes me smile inside. It was a very good day today. Oh! oh, 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 oh. oh it was a, it's different at the end. Mm. <laughs> Diary entry number 69 from Julian James, Tennyson Woods from Ashgrove. 40, 60 till I die. Today, I'll practice karate in my room. <clears throat> I can break a broomstick with more kicks now, and broomsticks are the same strength as arm bones. It's good to train yourself in combat, especially with the way I live my life, because, like, you just never know when some cunt's going to rock up more territory. I'm probably like a red belt in karate now, all self-taught from YouTube videos. I reckon at this rate, I should get my black belt tomorrow or the next day, eh? Ha <laughs> ha, you stab, grapple, swing down, point, stab, run. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking, if that's a laugh, what you just did, that's intense. Uh, that's, ah! from a, that's from a while ago, that one. <laughs> oh, very good. <clears throat> Diary entry number 889 from Matthew Gregory Brown. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> I was observing my semen sample in a petri dish. It was chunky and light brown, similar texture to beef mints. I could see my individual sperms sprinting aggressively from one side of the petri dish to the other. It looked like brown maggots crawling all over each other. (laughs) I gently touched the sampler with my finger and immediately the sperms started attacking it. I could feel them biting and they very quickly started crawling up the length of my finger. I could even hear the sperms screaming. I quickly retracted my finger and wiped the biting sperms off. It was time to try my next experiment. I picked up a single strand of hair that I had collected from a girl's hairbrush. I dropped it into the petri dish and the reaction was horrific. (laughs) My sperms enveloped the hair within the blink of an eye and then they devoured it. After the small meal, my sperms were moving quicker, appeared to be thicker and were now all pulsing in perfect unison. It was beautiful to watch, but also quite scary. (laughs) I had a human tooth which I wanted to try next. I'd gotten the tooth from a girl that I had punched in the face as hard as I could a few months ago. As soon as I dropped the tooth in, again my sperms swarmed and devoured it in seconds. They had another growth surge and began overflowing the petri dish. Their little voices had gone from high-pitched squeaks to more of a deep chant. They started scattering across my table and I was losing control. I grabbed the overflowing petri dish and flung it out of my bedroom window. I quickly wiped the sperms up with a towel, but as I was doing so, I heard screaming coming from outside. I rushed over and saw that out on the footpath, a girl was frantically grabbing at her hair and face. 
My petri dish was lying right next to her, with my brown mince sperm splattered all over her upper body. The petri dish must have hit her in the face. I quickly lowered myself so that no one could see me through the window. The girl was screaming in pain as my strengthened brown sperms were eating her flesh and entering her body via her mouth, ears and eyes. They were very quickly overpowering her. I glanced down and saw my little brown had become stiff and electric with excitement. I, cl I clasped my hand around my little brown and started extracting. I kept watching the girl who was now lying on the ground, fighting to breathe. The sperms had eaten through her skin and her skeleton was exposed underneath. Each individual sperm was now the size of a mouse and they had found the girl's ovaries and had removed them. I felt a lust streak concentrate in my ball bag and more brown mints surged from my core. It gushed and gushed straight into my hand and it burned as hot as melted cheese. The girl outside was now 100% skeleton and I, and I saw my now possum-sized sperms scatter away. I think my experiment was a bit of a hot disaster. I laughed as I flicked my deflated testicles. Life is such a lottery sometimes. <laughs> that is the best one. Dude, that was so fucked up. Dude. Oh. I pictured every Dude. single scene. <laughs> girl I previously punched in the face. <laughs> you are a sick motherfucker. Come on, motherfucker. Oh, also on this episode, by the way, is fucking we're oh gonna do. God. Have we got any secrets? Yeah, I got a few. <laughs> All right, we got. We're gonna do some secrets. We got questions, of course, and Julian will be taking this evening's fucking prank call. And he's got a story for us, maybe if he can think of one in the time frame that I've just said this, and a fucking short one, Julian. I want you here for the next half an hour. All right. <laughs> okay, so that's. Uh, let's move on to the fucking questions, I guess. I love you, Julian. Do you Julian. want secrets or questions for? Um, let's do questions first. Remember, if you want your question answered, all you got to do is comment on our YouTube channel. Comment your question, and the ones who get the most likes are the ones that we answer. So have a scroll through, and if you see a question wants to answer, give it a like. Fucking who knows, all right? Just keep commenting your questions, keep commenting, keep liking the fucking shit, because YouTube doesn't show our videos to anyone, and we rely solely on you guys to get the word out there about our podcast. I love you, Julian. Julian just hinted Ju at me that we have a story. Julian? What's, what's oh. the title? What's the title, Julian? Girl I Found Outside My House. Um, it's from James Byrne. Uh, <laughs> when do we get to meet Michael's mum? Marty has teased us for so long. I don't know. I don't know if our parents will ever want to come on this. I don't think so either. Because it's not really... It's not, a, it's not something to be proud of. <laughs> <laughs> My laugh is a screaming in pain. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck! But we, we um we should fucking after this we should contact our. Pa <laughs> oh my god, my arm! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> and see um, if they have any old kids' photos and videos that we can show to you guys. Because that will be a cute thing. I know I'd like to see a little brown and question playing on a playground. <laughs> Matt, did you know that we did like a, a circus in the street? What? So. Yeah. he When he was a kid, he did a circus in the street. And there's footage of it. I've totally. seen it and his laugh I was a happy kid. the clown his laugh is you know his his fucking deep man smoker's laugh <laughs> he had that exact same laugh when he was like six years really? old really I can't remember it <laughs> 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 yeah that a that, picture of that coming out of a six year old's fucking throat <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, cunt! <laughs> I like the screaming in pain. <laughs> okay. Fuck. Next question. Um, Holy next shit. Next question is perfect. Um, it's from James Kirkpatrick. Um, we always apologize for asking another question. I think always. That it's the sorry yeah, thing. It's the sorry thing that it's was. It's the new phase. Sorry about that. Sorry. Um, sorry, dude. Has any of Michael's street where he lives um, complained about the noise or screams? 
<laughs> no, it's pretty. There's, they're a long way away. Yeah, they're all lovely. Yeah, they're, and everyone's been quite everyone's nice. Quite to nice. Us. Uh, he also asked if I'd ever do pranks, and I leave that with a question mark. Yeah, you're a little prank caller, man. We'll call your mum. I don't know. I wasn't sure if he was referring to pranks or pranks out in the wild. <laughs> Nigel Thornbury. Mm-hmm. Elijah. Uh, Hello. Next question is from Hello, Lake McBogan. <laughs> um, if you guys could choose to be uh, one of the jackass guys, like if like your favorite guy, who would it be? Like if you could be one of them. No. Oh, so if you could be Bam know. or if you could be Steve. So or, like, who is our favorite? Well, like, yeah, who would basically, we be? who's your favorite? But who you would be? I don't know. Be because like I can't, all, you can't be any of yeah. them. They're all fucking. They're all so damn tough lives. But it'd be cool, I guess, to be Johnny Knoxville because he has the biggest balls, and fucking he's like the he's the fucking the leader, the, the ringleader. Uh, yeah, I, I think personal favorite for me was always Ryan Dunn, but like, uh oh, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be him. He did do one of the best, one of my favorite jackass ones. The um, Chris the- Pontius is up there though. Fuck, I love the him. car. He's funny. The car and the asshole, and they go to the doctor. Yeah. No, that's, that's that's the best scene in the first film. Ever, that's yeah. like that. What stole the show? Like, did so well. I think it got offered to Stevo, and yeah, he yeah, declined, it. declined it. I, like, would you do that? Would you stick uh, like something up your ass and go get an X-ray? Well, I've had a finger in there, so oh. <laughs> might as well take the next step. Yeah, yeah I, I guess pr- maybe I would if it was for that's a movie. Hundred percent. That's yeah. nothing. Yeah. Ryan Dunn didn't shower for that. Well, it's not it's nothing. Like it's something. It's look at it. It's like fucking. Yeah, it's very. Similar. It's made it in history of one of the most similar. fucked up stunts ever. But like, it's not hard to do. You just shove something up your ass, go get an X-ray, then you're the fucking star of the show. Oh, so you're saying it's not very hard? No, I'm saying it's, shit. it's you good, like it. but it's you really like doable. Him. It's really doable. Michael's saying it's easy. Next question, question is from, from Gilly. 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 Bra. Bra. Question for the podcast. podcast. In a video on the main channel called Pass Out, Out, Mate Wait, Compilation, Wait. is the last scene at four minutes where Michael is rising from the ashes as a phoenix, is it real? Yeah, I think that was him waking up after. Uh, I know what he's talking about. You know what about. you're talking about? Where the cigarette butts are going. Yeah. yeah. No, the, the very last clip when I, I'm commentating, I was, and the phoenix rises from the ashes and Michael like, sits up and he's just coming out of one of his fucking hangover sleep comas. Fucking love that video. That's got like... That's got like nearly a million views on YouTube and shit. They also said they would love to hear the story behind that night if you could. <sighs> oh, ever. dude. Oh, that's, that's, that's another blurred. Day, another yeah, it's all a blurry mess, but some of those not like we were so fucking twisted in that video in particular. Like we, that's the, some of the vids is from the night that we pushed it to the limit. <sighs> yeah. There was some like, yeah, drug benders in there. <laughs> that one where you were in. And you kept trying to scream, no, but your voice was so was gone. <laughs> and you, he wouldn't stop because he couldn't sleep. And I was trying to sleep. And it was like probably like 11 a.m. at this stage. Fucking drenched. And fucking every <laughs> sort of like 30 seconds, I'd switch off and couldn't keep my eyes open. And he'd just pour water on me every single time. <laughs> he gets so wet and cold. <laughs> and he'd scream It's such a time. shock, dude. It sucks. Because <laughs> I'm out. Every 30 seconds, I go to sleep. I'm out. Like I turn oh, off every thirty me seconds. Laugh. Bang! Wake it's up. It's great. It's great work. Next question is from Dank Productions. Uh, question is for Mister Brown. Uh, what was your most recent depraved adventure, or is that to be spilled in a diary <laughs> entry? It will definitely remain in diary entries, and there's no way. We've seen some questions about question. Some interesting question. Question. A lot of requests for question. And look, we um we decided that I'll reach out to him. Okay, Matt's given me his phone number. And I'm just going to try and gauge how he's going to be if we get him on. But obviously, Matt, you won't be able to be here. So, we might get Queston on as a guest. Because, like, just out of curiosity to see just how accurate those diaries are. It's been a long time since we were in the same room. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to risk it. So, maybe if you're just not here and we'll just get Queston. And then when Queston leaves, I'll call you and you can come. I just don't want to see that. You know what I mean? I don't want to see Queston trying to overpower Matt. And then Matt turning on him and fucking him and the brown man's shit and all that. He's trying to move in with me. Shut up. No, he is. I'll show you the messages. I'll show you the messages. She'll get out of control. Sorry. Um, Um, Next question is from Ryan Fernandez. Fernandez. Fuck, he even said in his question. Fernandez. 
He literally said in his question I was going to ruin his name. Fernando will call him. Fernandez. Fernandez. I got it. I got it, Ryan. Fernandez. I got it. Um, question is for my King Martos. Um, I have a dash hound. I was wondering if you could say your... Oh, sorry. If you can give me the proper pronunciation of dash hound in your native language. Dachshund. <laughs> Dachshund. Not so fucking cute now, is it? <laughs> Fucking little dachshund. Dache. Dache. Next question is from Richie Bates. Uh, we always hear about negative fan rea- uh, interactions. Uh, did you ever have a positive fan reaction? To what? Just in general. In general. Yeah, heaps. Oh, yeah. They, the positive outweigh the negative. Like, holy shit. But heaps. I don't, we don't talk about negative fan reactions <laughs> maybe that it's been a question sometimes. before but, but yeah no. no no everyone everyone most like 99 percent of people of you are fucking lovely legends next question is from momentary madness do you think bounding backwards should be an olympic sport 110 percent. i've seen it now firsthand and it's like it's it's hard to look away but it's also really really disgusting it's sort of cute it's, it gives me a vibe of like the care bears show it's quite a spectacle that's what I feel like you look like when you do it, Matt. Well, I posted a picture of a video of Matt uh, bounding backwards home. Um, so, if you want to go and have a look, have a look at it. Instagram. Uh, on the fully- Marty and Michael. Is it just Marty and Michael fully actual? Yeah, yeah. Pod- podcasts. It's on Instagram, right? Go on a cheeky peek at it, count. <laughs> the fucking golly bottle too, by the way. Look. I don't know if we should even be talking about it now, now that YouTube started age-restricting our content. Is the word golly bad to say? No. But, well, we certainly won't show it. But the the video, it's that... Remember, I was like 3K likes and then Michael will do a shot of the golly bottle. It's only on like 1.2K. So, it's like... It failed. I thought maybe we could get there, like you guys and, and me, and we could do this to him together, but... It's okay. There was a lot of people saying that it would a lot of, make me sick. Yeah, a lot of people yeah, didn't want I to see it. Happen. I get it. But, you know, we I asked Golly Pro or Golly Con, and you saw the comments. Most it's probably of them, more pro, right? Yeah, way more Actually, pro. I, I don't know. I was doing the numbers. I'm it's, sorry. It's fairly even. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe fucking there's some new comments since I first looked. All right, well, fair enough then. I get it. If I'm the only uh, twisted sick fuck who wants to see that, I apologize for pressuring you guys to so much to do it. I'll give you guys $100. Go and like the video oh. right now and then DM us proof <laughs> of the Marty and Michael main account and I'll give $100 of my personal money to someone. Okay? $100 just like that. Like, and if, if another thousand people do it, like, you've got a one in a thousand chance of winning $100. That's like 10%. <laughs> that's 10%. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Blue oh. Blue Swift. Oh fuck! Um, <laughs> that's car. I thought you were gonna fart then. Blue Blue Swift is car. I did a fart outside before. And Julian, I was like, oh, should I hold it? And Julian said, no, no, just do it now. Fuck it. Fuck the podcast. Fuck is that everyone. What you said? No, I did not. And I was like, oh fucking hell! All right, I'll fucking let it out now then. Fuck man. So, I really, I've missed him. Even during the day, you haven't yeah, given me dude, anything. I don't know what's wrong with me anymore, man. Oh, the other day after I, <sighs> I, I, after I had beans for lunch that, at, night. that night, that fucking so night. That the previous night, you have a big bean meal on Monday night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll have to bean it up on Monday nights. <laughs> a whole oh, can. That's, of beans. I, I yeah, fucking, have a whole can. Even at, I reckon in the morning, if you can have them for brekkie, yeah. baked beans. Do they do it? Yeah, yeah, beans, baked beans, dude, beans, bro. Right. Some baked beans come. <laughs> All right, Blue Swift has asked, um, ah. you boys, sh- oh, sorry, sometimes after, I'm, I love you, Julian. Um, could you boys get a mold made up of your little browns and put them on the podcast desk? A mold? Yeah, so you know how people can get molds of their browns? I reckon that'd be deleted. Deleted. It's, it's like um, animated nudity that would can come down to and yeah. YouTube would delete that. That is how fucking- anyway. fish. Winning. All right, next question is my favorite fan, Rootin' Tootin' Putin. No! Um, how do you guys come up with your skits or segments? Uh, are they symptoms of schizophrenia or influenced by experiences? Oh, it's usually just That's a funny comment. A general idea, and then it just is like half improvised. And we just. We've come up with it. ideas 
live on this podcast well during episodes yeah but with the skits they are sometimes it depends it's very sometimes they're completely scripted and written out and sometimes they're just just like oh i've got an idea <laughs> Who you, Mr. Ah. yeah like the cats yeah the cat ones on tiktok you just act like cats that's what you guys want to see we're the cat guys now <laughs> <laughs> we're the crazy cat boys <laughs> next question is from kasana Kosana Nana. Um, have you guys ever thought of doing a backwards Olympic video? The Olympics backwards. Oh, sorry. Um, following on from Matt Brown's bounding backwards, have you ever thought of doing a backwards Olympic video? Yeah, everything ba- but backwards. So, javelin backwards, you chuck it yeah. over your fucking shoulder. You got discus, you fuck, chuck it over your fucking shoulder. You got shot put, you fling it over your fucking shoulder. You, you got run backwards. hammer throw, you fucking fling it over your fucking shoulder. You get bound. You got hurdles, you fucking fling yourself over your yeah. shoulder. I can guarantee you there is no <laughs> fucking way we're doing that. <laughs> 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 um, keeping with the theme of Olympics, MTB Brody asked um, for 2032 in Brisbane's Olympics because we're having the Olympics here. Did you know, Michael? 32. Um, 2032. Sorry. Games, would you like to... Uh, oh, sorry. Um, what uh, sports would you do? Could you convince them to add Tocker as a sport? Oh, man. To the imagine that. We are still so in love with Tocker, guys. Every fucking Wednesday comes around. And it's literally like what I live for. But yeah, the Olympics will be here when we're 30, 43 and 42. And um, hopefully we'll be? S- you'll be like 50 or something. <laughs> 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 but yeah, hopefully we'll still have a huge, uh, well, a career of some sort. And we'll, we'll, uh, surely we'll have something to do with the Olympics. You'll be the host. In the Olympics. <clears throat> well, yeah, I'm pretty sure we will be yeah, the, the Olympics. Olympics. Like we're a platform that people can set up events you can do long jump and high jump you got uh 800 meter sprint and mm. the backpedaling on me so yeah. we are like the perfect grounds yeah opening ceremony closing ceremony everything middle part next See? question is from matthew Sorry. knowles uh he has a question for matt brown what diary entry were you most embarrassed about i was <laughs> mostly embarrassed about the High school formal one where I kiss my mum and <laughs> held onto the back of her head. That one. That's oh. like the mum kissing. You shouldn't yeah. have told me that because I'm pretty sure your mum features in the next diary. No. <laughs> With question. <laughs> question. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, imagine if your mum listened to that. That would be so embarrassing. Question. For her to have to relive that. <laughs> question. <laughs> Next question is from Abu Dhabi, and they want to know where. It's actually at Abu Dhabi. Um, okay. Quite oh, this Julian. one's a dark one, but I did promise I would ask it. Julian? Um, uh, question for the podcast, um, and they're answering if you can help. Um, have you dealt with any people... Uh, oh, sorry. Did you guys ever lose any mates when you were younger, and how did you deal with that situation? Like when that we never really none that died, did we? Yeah, we've had friends die. Yeah, we. Uh, I oh, guess, not when we we're younger, but yeah. Yeah, in, in the last couple of years, yeah, we've had a, a, had a, a pr- pretty close mate die yeah. from, from um, bloody drugs. And, yeah, and um, I don't know how you, you deal with it. You just fucking. Yeah, that's the whole thing. You just got to keep, as you said before, keep trucking. Yeah, and the the with depression doesn't matter how, why you're depressed. You just you just follow the same routine that you do whenever you're feeling shit and for us it's stay away from piss and drugs exercise and just fucking fill up your time with fun shit yeah. and our friend group's quite yeah supportive and get group. legend mates yeah. come. play <laughs> golf or talker and get baked actually maybe it's not for everyone but but do it yeah just gotta try it smoke some weed and go for a run maybe sorry sorry about that Sorry. Sorry. Uh, next question. <laughs> next is question from, from Jacob Mr. Dickinson. Clinton. If you Thank stuck you your hand into a mystery glove, what's the last thing you'd want to be in there? Um, my father? <laughs> <laughs> but maybe fucking like Warsaw? Warsaw, the capital of Poland. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, that would be pretty annoying. That'd suck. It's, yeah. Yeah, okay. so our answers are Warsaw, the capital of Poland, and um, my dad. <laughs> <laughs> They're the same thing. <laughs> Your father's name is Warsaw? Warsaw? <laughs> oh, this is a bit random, the next one. Uh, this one's from... <laughs> so oh, stop. <laughs> What do you think? Oh. <laughs> you remind me of the man, the banker from Mary Poppins. From Warsaw. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, he's, he looks like a cute old man. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Next question is from Mo Alley. Um, if your pet walks in as you're fondling or, you know, having sex with your missus, do you keep it going or kick him out? Uh, usually I don't mind. Boz know, knows what's going on. He knows daddy's just at work. So he usually just fucking plops himself down somewhere and waits till she's over and fucking off we go. Come to, off to the fucking dog park. Come to, 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 to. <laughs> no, yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, Bosley's, Bosley is there for everything. Sometimes he's up on the bed. <laughs> yeah, he's used to it. Yeah. So, no, I don't kick him out, but... I have there have been people who are like oh can you tell your dog to get out alright well, this one's from Joe Morton um, is Dakota fuck you <laughs> yeah I was fucking ready for it too <laughs> question of the podcast is Dakota Darren's daughter no that none of them are related not not that I'm aware of I haven't sat them all down in a room together we're, we're gonna do sense. a sketch with them all we're, we're gonna yeah, we I was one. I was gonna do I was gonna do a prank haul where um, I swap from one character to the next Someone asked, suggested that too. Yeah, I think that's maybe where I got that idea from. But um, I, re- I practiced it in my head and it sounds very prank call. I reckon that'd be on all pretty quick. But who knows? We might fucking try it out. I'm not saying no to nothing, mate. Oi, everyone, something's happening. Oh. Bullshit. Everyone, fuck. Wait, wait. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shit came out. I saw shit squirt. Bullshit. Oh, I did too. Really? And that's, that's question time. time. And the next segment has been renamed to... <laughs> and it's a segment where we open the shit that you guys send us to here. The P.O. Box. 256. <gasps> All right, the first P.O. box that we have is a little brown box. We got lots of shit sent in again, so thank you to everyone fucking sending your shit in. We got so many fucking boxes lying around. Yeah, I've got to read this out before you open that one. Julian says he's got to read something out before he opens this one. This is for our mate on Discord, Keith. Yeah, and if you want to join our oh, Discord, Keith. you got to sign up as a premium member to our uh, website, all right? That's what, when you hear Discord, that's what they're talking about. They always go on. Oh, yeah, we all end up in there at some point. Yeah, Matt's joined too. All right, so Keith has said, Dear Marty and Michael, I hope you two enjoy the smoking apparatuses enclosed. I also hope Julian will enjoy the cancer sticks as well. That being said, if Julian would like any more of his pre- precious cigarettes, he must convince Marty and Michael to take his last name. Oh. Richards. Is it Richards? Yeah, it's Richards. <gasps> oh my God, I see them. So, Julian's been sent some oh, cigarettes because he favorite. fucking loves Camel smoking. Camel Turkish Gold Classics. Do they not sell them in Australia? No, 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 dude. They don't even sell them in America anymore. They're only, they were made in Bethlehem. Oh, I think these are pipes, dude. It feels like a pipe. Yeah, pipe. smoking apparatuses. Oh, if any fans oh nice, nice. Fucking love me a pipe. Oh, that's Ooh. so sick. Fuck beautiful. Yeah, thank you, Keith. Want to send me Jeez, cigarettes, Keithy. please. Fucking legend, Keith. Thank you very much. Sending fucking Julian cigarettes, eh? We'll have to see what we can do about that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so you you smoke now, not just vaping. Dude. All the time? Yeah. And you were so good at just vaping for a while. Well, and it's like he's proud of it too. He's like, yeah, I fucking yeah. smoke it. You it's like one you smoke one less as you get older. Ooh. All right, this is oh, from... Oh, d- oh this is John O'Jaws. Dude. John O'Jaws has sent us something here, bro. Dude. Is that a frog? This is okay because it's like a big gremlin. That's oh, a, it's a fucking gremlin. <laughs> That's a gremlin. See, this is like... They were this big. 
They were like two centimeters <laughs> big last time. Likes this one. This know. one's okay. Look, it's got pretty color. The green's yeah, nice. Yeah, you like the green color. It looks like the weed dude, plant. Dude, I don't know about this. There's a note on here that says, don't worry, they died. Oh, yeah, dude. What's that? I don't know what's in here. I don't want to open this I'll, one. I'll, 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 I'll this. open this one. I'll take care of this. But that's a nice gremlin. Yeah. yeah I, I know where they were going with it. They wanted it to be a, a funny piss you off gremlin. But unfortunately, it's Michael's Thank favorite you, Jono. color. That's oh, it's going to fall. Don't. It's going to fall. It's going to knock the other things and it'll be a disaster. Oh, shit. Here we go. All right. Fuck. I'll sort it out. Don't worry. They died. Oh, oh man. God. I thought I felt the box vibrate before as well. Anyway, just open it. This box vibrated What's when I shook it on? before. What's going Matt's on? Matt's whispering to Julian. Julian knows something about this. Julian? I don't want to fuck Do you know something about this? <laughs> this, this gift here. Yeah, what? I saw you fucking talking to Matt. John, I wouldn't give us something. No, fucked. we're talking about. I'm something. fucking scared because I felt the vibration too. Is Did it you? alive? I don't know. It's it says they're dead on Do there. Do you want me to open it? Yes, please. I, I got some scissors. Yes, Matt's gonna open it. I'm yeah, pretty I'm sure a it's scared. a bomb. I'm pretty sure it's a bomb. A bomb. It's a shrapnel bomb. Oh, that's scary. Oh, they're fucking teeth. Oh, it's just oh. another set of teeth. Oh, oh, oh man, Julian. <laughs> This Julian's, isn't the place for Julian's that, mate. Smoking in Michael's basement. Can you please get outside? <laughs> That's a disgusting oh, habit. Are these oh. are these real teeth? Look, I guess we have to put these in. I guess we have to put these in our mouths. They're false. Are they false teeth? Oh, dude, that dude. makes me feel sick. Look at that. About that. Oh, you have to put them in your mouth, dude. Look at that. Oh. A fucking set of teeth here. Can, <laughs> can you fucking believe it? Not more teeth. <laughs> you got fucking more teeth than a dentist can. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's oh. him saying. Don't worry, they're dead. He's talking to the owners of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> very good, Jono. Very good. Thank you very much, Jono. No, it's great to see you, mate. Yeah, All right, lots of fun. Um, another one? Yeah. yeah. Come on, one Why more, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got him. Ooh. I can't believe I shit myself. I feel ah. Oh my God, there's a fucking live animal in there, man. Shut up. Oh. Oh. Okay. Whoa. We don't know what's in there yet. What's that? Uh, it says... No animals were harmed, and it's got the, a p picture of a big veiny dick and balls. Oh, no. oh shit. so it's never good. It's never good. Uh, there's some sort of padding on top of the gift, so we're slowly removing oh. the padding. Oh, there's a plastic bag. Oh no, there's more fucking. Oh, there's a plastic it's bag. Tube shit. It's, it's like, like those containers, beakers. the medicine. Yeah, there's yeah. those fucking oh, containers. containers. The same containers that someone sent us come and teeth in. Oh, oh no. Oh shit! What, what? is that? Oh, what is that? Oh my god. Something fucked is in that, dude. That's like a circle. It looks like a ringworm or an eye. Oh my god. What is. It? Oh, dude. Yummy with nails. What the fuck is that, cunt? Dude. What's written on the things? <sighs> oh my god, what dude. What the fuck's that? Dude. I don't <sighs> want to be here anymore. I'm done with this now. Yeah, I'm scared. This looks like. um. <sighs> They're bugs of some kind. Uh, this one is. Oh, this one looks like a like a witchetty grub. Maybe I don't know. Oh, it says mouse tummy with nails. <laughs> that looks like he's Steve Irwin right now. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. this one is a witchetty grub. And then can you see that, Marty? There's like bugs yeah, in there. Yeah, I can see. They look that. like cock. Oh, if you get a whiff of it, it's quite uh, difficult. I don't want a whiff of it. I don't want a whiff. I've got enough oh, teeth in me. What's fucking that? Muscles. I'm not opening that. That just looks like Give some it to off Matt. Sort. Give it to Matt. Let Matt have a look. Matt, can you work on this? I don't want to open that. Do it in the toilet. <sighs> oh, hang on. So they've got a little... It's going to like cause a new disease. Oh, it's anthrax? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, see. Well, see I, don't the mold, I, I feel like I'm so just fucking wafting in disease right yeah, now. I don't know what Oh, it is. God. I don't <laughs> know. What, let's just there? put that one over here. Can you smell it? I think it's disease. Oh, this is it from Australia? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh. Imagine it's like a scorpion um, or something. I think we'll throw this out on the street and break it and see what's in it. <sighs> yeah. So we'll tell you this next week. <sighs> okay, thank you for that gift, whoever. Oh, I can smell that shit. I'm yeah, please take it away. I'm, oh, fuck, man. No, I'm not. You fucking idiot. <laughs> 
fuck away from me. I told you to be. Get the fuck away from me. I told you to be. I'm kicking the dick. Oh man, it's different. It's always yeah, different each PO week. PO box is is yeah, very very confronting yeah, sometimes, box. isn't it? Oh. Fuck me. Yeah, Tom. it went from a gremlin to some false teeth to what like asbestos. We'll call that asbestos. Move right along the, to the next segment, which has of course been renamed. <laughs> Very oh, good. And this is a segment where we just read uh, secrets that you fucking dogs have sent in to Matt Brown. And he is storing your data. <laughs> so, Matt. Can I just say it does. We do have a sign on the desk that says send us weird shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, no. This is, yeah, this is what we ask for, I guess. Yeah. Sometimes it's just overwhelming it's just... when lots of shit arrives at once. Yeah. Like we had a whole set of teeth and then lots of sh- a, a mouse stomach can i just say a mouse if you're gonna stomach, send man. weird shit like mm. that they need to be in a bit more of a clear bottle so we can identify what they are yeah well, i get why he's doing it. he doesn't want it to break on the way over you know yeah but you can still keep it clear he could have kept that non he didn't Salted. have to tape that up sorry i can't wait to break it and see it's what's very in it. intriguing oh, it's man. wonderful it's, it's a very weird smell it's here at the moment wonderful weirder than usual oh, usual dirty mm. Oh, Julian. Oh, my Julian, please. All right. Please oh. be with me, my Julian. Oh. He's on his phone again. That's where he spends most of his life. He always ignores us every day. We're trying to throw the vortex with him today. Nothing. It took so long to get him to throw the vortex with us. All right, what are these secrets, my brown? My sweet, sweet brown. Your bald hair. <coughs> perfectly shaped beard. Oh, my brown town. Mm. All right. First one is from uh, Unknown. Oh, brown. Um, This is a bit more of a crime story, but more of a secret. Uh, Back in the day, I used to look for abandoned houses and get what I... And I would take what I could from there to make coin or make money, if you're unsure what coin means. Um, (laughs) (laughs) uh, I found one... One day, I found one, one, scoped it out, and I went inside and took a look. Uh, In... In the place, I found a Tirana and lots of expensive furniture. Tirana is a car, if anyone is unsure. Um, Later, I found out that the couple actually took their own lives. That's why they weren't home that day. Secret for the podcast. What what was that? What the fuck? Wait. So this, what? That was the shittest fucking secret. You're going to send your secrets. No, that wasn't. Dude, think about what he's done. What? He's stolen from some dead people? That's pretty. He thought the house was abandoned. And he stole from it, but it wasn't actually abandoned. The people actually so think about it, and so we got away. Those so he stole their car. Is that so what he stole said? their car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh that's... my god. Okay. It's yeah. He didn't explain <laughs> it very well. My apologies. <laughs> you, we were sort of attacking him like the original gremlins. Then. Yeah. But he's really the new. Yeah, gremlin. that was very gremlin anger. Yeah. I felt it. It started very gremlin. But then the, it was new gremlin yeah, towards yeah, the end. We I haven't resolved. read all these in full. Producing some sort of breast milk. Oh, I haven't man. read these in full. Some of them are big, so, so I just see secret and I just save them. So, anyway, let's try it. Uh, this is from... Archery. Brookhouse. Um, secret for the podcast. Me and my mate used to work at a dairy farm, farm, I guess, for two hours after school twice a week. For the last half hour, we would serve ice creams and behind him was the cigarettes cabinet. Every day we would sit at the table outside as they gave us a drink after and he would have stolen a pack of cigarettes almost every time. This went on for about five months and he never got caught. I worked there for another year after and would eat chicken in the fridge when it came in and eat lollies at the back. I also never got caught. I fucking hate this Man, one. Man, I was, Dude, not, if I, I was, I was seriously... A kid that's, wrote that for sure. That's fucked up. Like, leave it in just because I want people to hear... Um, I want, I want that person to be embarrassed. I can summarize this. Basically, they worked at some kind of corner store or place and- We've all done it. They stole shit. I was in We've the deli at Woolworths. It. Chicken wings galore. Stole. Yeah. That, Never, that, like, ever, ever paid that for That was it. a shit. If you send in your secrets, we don't want to hear what fucking- what, That you fucking found a dollar coin on the ground, okay? We want to hear some proper shit. Secret for the podcast. I really like older women- and I am quite turned on by incest. So, I regularly masturbate to my grandmother and my step-aunt. I also sniff their panties. Whoa. Is that it? That's a fucking it's heavy different. one, isn't it? It's different. 
sniff his grandmother's pipe. Oh man, I oh. feel like that's quite real. The way Do you he was, it's real? I feel like that was he's very. He was very specific about not mentioning his Instagram. Grandma's panties would probably smell like your golly bottle. Oh, it'd be like granny panties. Oh, there's still a smell in here. Yeah, it's ruined the house a bit. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, this one's interesting. <laughs> All right. Secret for the podcast. In 2003, when I was 14, me and my friends all took turns pissing in a Pringles can. We all know what that is. Uh, we then leaned it out the front door of a random... Ha- oh, we left it out the front door of a random house. We knocked on the door and took off. They opened the door and the piss splattered all over the front of the house. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Well, it was a bomb. <laughs> no, it was a Pringles no, they can. They put it full in front and when they opened they open the door. the door, the door knocks Pringles cans over and piss, piss comes everywhere. out, isn't it? That's not bad. That's- Turns out the house we did it to was the Attorney General of Utah, <laughs> which is like, I think, is, is that similar to a lawyer? No, I can't remember. I think it's, it's like a politician. It's a politician like a high up. Kind? It's a high, mm. powerful person. Um, their eight-year-old daughter was the one who opened up the door. They caught me and two of my friends and pulled guns on us when they sent the cops around. (laughs) They decided not to charge us. That's like, we used to do chissing, didn't we? What's that? Chissing is when um, you have a packet of chips and you're sort of over them. So, you piss in the the last remaining packet (laughs) of chips and then we put them on top of cars, just strangers' cars, and then we'd- Flip them so that the piss and the chips went down the windshield into the <laughs> drained into the car bit. <laughs> yeah, it goes down the windshield, Matt. All right, you remember that, Matt? We chissed some people that we didn't like. This one's good, and we're going to end on this one because it'll drag particular. out for ages. <laughs> All right, ready? I'm so blast. Just ears. All right, this is from. All right, me and my mates have a teacher at school. She teaches science. And she never liked any of us, but we know where she. But we knew where she lived. We would fuck her house up, smear shit on the windows, key the oh, smear shit, smear shit on the oh windows, my God. key key the cars, break her windows sometimes. <gasps> oh my god, man! One day we went. The teacher didn't fucking like you, dogs. <laughs> one day it went too far. One of the windows were open in her <laughs> son in one of her kids' her. rooms. <laughs> One day we went too far and we bashed. Hang on. <laughs> You're not letting me finish. We killed a dog with a brick. <laughs> <laughs> one day we went too far and one of the windows was open in her in her son's room. We found a dead cat on the road. And we decided oh, no, to place that's... the corpse in the in the little cunt's room and piss a little bit. See, that is something that I don't back, I don't... but like I'm glad you did that so I get to hear that. We don't but we don't we don't back it but we don't disagree <laughs> yeah like i'm glad you did it that's uh, tense man. because that is next level s- uh what you can't really say it's pretty savage but like savage is meant to be cool <clears throat> yeah uh some pretty good know. secrets there uh comment if you think that the secrets section should stay or if we should fuck it off and get one of the other ones back the, the crimes was a good well one? it's a i reckon it's a, it's mix, a mix of both yeah. so i'm happy with crimes uh, the crime <laughs> secret segment that's so true it's a crime secret segment all right so if you like that let us know in the comments if not we'll fucking we'll cut it like i'll slice its neck cunt watch it bleed to death and really send some stuff in where oh. we want to oh. hear it on the cord no the cord's nothing <laughs> nothing nothing all right nothing. we've been going for like two hours all right julian You've got five minutes to tell us a story. I'm literally Hurry fucking up. timing Get you. over here. Your right. time starts now. So, there was this one time. My- Speak right in Sorry. the mic, mate. Okay. Look into the camera. Oh, no, we'll, we'll Not me, the camera. Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, there was this one time my parents were out of town and they left me alone at our house. And I was like, hey, I'm going to throw a gather, a little party. So, I had a bunch of people over, mates, chicks, all that biz. Anyway, there was this one girl that I was getting with that night. And I was too drunk and all that, so she slept over and then the next day she wanted to have sex. But I was hung over as shit and was sort of like, oh, she's not as hot as she was when I was drunk. So, I was sort of like, oh, yeah, I'll do it anyway because I'd fuck a sick dog tied to a tree and if it didn't move, I'd kick it. Anyway, I've gotten on top of her, starting to fuck and she's like <coughs> a fucking starfish. This was not moving. You know those ones that just fucking lay there like, 
Yeah. Fucking, like rigor mortis. Don't touch me, oh, cunt. Sorry. Anyway. I'm like, how do I get out of this? And for some reason, I think, oh, all chicks have heard my excuses. Like, they all talk or some shit. So, I make a new one up every time. <laughs> and I, and I, I couldn't think what to fucking say. So, I just started coughing and then pretended to pass out limp on this girl. So, I've got... <coughs> uh, and she's like, what the fuck? Are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, oh, yeah. I just feel... Oh, I'm so lightheaded. And oh she goes, oh, no, God. it's okay. I can leave. Uh, could you drive me? And I was like, no, I'm too fucked. She was like, no, you're right. Anyway, she's left. And I've like texted the boys, yeah, yeah, fucking, yeah, just fucking got this chick out of my house. I'm like, I'm going to go to Macca's. So I'm driving to Macca's and I've pulled up at a red light oh, and, no. I lo- and I'm blaring music and I look to the left and that girl is there looking depressed at the bus stop oh. and has seen me at the bar, like in my car, like completely fine, like smoking, fucking looking happy. What, did, I, did you talk to her? I just looked at her and then just kept driving. Did you ever talk to her again? No, I blocked her on Facebook and everything. Wow. And like we were pre- had many mutual friends it where she was. And just so nothing ever came up. She never fucking. No, I've seen her and it's just at like at parties. She just ignores just, it that you, <laughs> you <laughs> made. Fucking disgusting behavior, Julian. That's a pretty tame story. I, like, I yeah, could, that is a very tame like, one. Like I could tell Julian. some fucking crazy ones, but you know. We We've don't only got get, five minutes. We, and we, we will have you back. No, but we don't want to get it age restricted. Oh, yeah, true. We've got to be fucking PG all yeah, the time now. Shitting, shitting on the fucking. Maybe I'll tell, tell the Tom when I ended up getting slapped. <laughs> Have I shown you the footage of me getting slapped by the ch- friend of the chick? Oh, like, yeah. He, like another, ditched. Yeah. He, very, we won't go into that one. Yeah. Because that one will get age restricted. <laughs> but, Julian, <laughs> uh, we, should, we yeah. shouldn't clap Push that. Push that kick up. Good story. Well done, Julian. What, what's your Instagram? That's like a fucking... Um, it's Julian Woods. I'm posting skits with the boys. Every yeah, very good skits. It's like a, it's a, like a diary entry. Pretty much like a diary entry. But live. Break all time! And this week, we're going to try and destroy Greg's life. <laughs> we're going to try and scam him for two and a half thousand fucking dollars, all right? This is how you scam your friends. Everyone listen up. He knows my voice, okay? I've tried to come up with all different types of voices. So, and, and nothing I say is sounds convincing enough and I can't fucking distort my voice too much because too much, I've done that before too and he picks up on it now, okay? I've prank called him too many times. He knows Michael's voice. So, we're going to get Julian to do the prank call today. We've got a little script for him, okay? A little scamming script. And basically, right, I'm looking to move rental houses and I messaged him the other day and I said, hey, mate, I've put you down as a reference on my rental application. So if a real estate agent calls you sometime this week, just tell them I'm, an, I'm a fucking legend and that I'm a fucking good cunt and they should let me fucking move into whatever house I'm applying to, okay? So he's expecting a call from a real estate agent. Let's see how good Greg is. So now Julian is going to be the real estate agent calling Greg and there's going to be all sorts of crazy things on the application and at the very bottom... We're going to see if we can fucking get Greg to send us two and a half fucking grand live on the phone, cunt. This is how you scam your friends, cunt. This is how you scam your fucking friends and ruin their fucking lives, cunt. Julian. Julian. Come on over. Julian. Hello, this is Greg. Yeah, hello. Is this Greg Smith? Yes, it is. Yeah, g'day, mate. It's Shane Sweeney from Ray White, Virginia. How you going, mate? Good, thanks, mate. Um, listen, I've got a Marty Sokolinski who's put you down as a personal reference. Are you available for a few questions quickly, mate? Yeah, go for your life. Oh, awesome. Um, Marty's written down here that he's worked with you as a boss. Yeah, so in, in my, in our, in our business, you mean? Yep. Yep, that's the one? Yeah, that's it. Yes, he did. Uh, so what was he like to work with and what did he really do? Oh, so he was one of our um, head coaches, like, it's going back a few years, but yeah, he was one of our head coaches and um, he, he, like, he did lots of our um, coaching at college, so at the School of Excellence of Tennis. Was that with uh, so, kids? Sorry? With kids? With kids, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, it also says here that you and Marty lived together for a year in 2018. Yeah, so out at... Um, I, well, he was living out with us on our property for a little bit as well. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, in the same residence or? Yeah, it is. Well, we had like an extra granny flat. Okay, um, yep, as yep. well. Yeah. Sorry, I have not really put that down here two seconds. Um, all right, sweet. Uh, it also says that he speaks five different languages. Uh, he hasn't really put down what they are. Um, do you know what they would be, the five different languages? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a stitch 
job there. <laughs> 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 I was like, mate, Marty. I'm like, mate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna absolutely rip his, rip him up here. Like when I get off the phone, because I'm like, mate, the amount of crap I'm having to make up. <laughs> oh, dude, I wish you fucking kept going with it. I was gonna say that, um, that that Marty's put you down as like a financial aid. <laughs> Oh, and that and that you need to cover the. Bond we should have went straight to that because no one's gonna ask if he can speak five different languages. That's so it was good. It was it was it was a pretty fun, like really that was that was fun. Julian by the way doing conducting yeah, I know. that. I, I ended up and then I realised it was Julian's voice. Like by the end of it, I was like, wait up! Oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but I, I actually have put you, I actually have put you down as a reference. So a real estate agent does call. Just, oh, piss off! I'm not even gonna. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine if like, Greg just yeah, answers and like, tells him to get fucked now. Fuck off! Fuck off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a lady. Yeah, it's a really, really <laughs> highly getting, strong woman. Did I make the final cut? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll use it. Fuck yeah, it. we'll use it. Um, Have you guys not pranked me enough? Holy <laughs> <laughs> Never. Like, so, the- back to, back normal, to the back podcast. normal podcast. Hey. Hi, hey, everyone. We're here. We're here. What's the time? <laughs> <Matt's reaction. laughs> <laughs> Only Matt can clap. <laughs> <laughs> He's all upset. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Comment. Sp- spread the word. Share. About us because Subscribe. without you guys telling everyone we die here today, all right? Spread the word. 40, 60 till I die, cunt. Let them know that we're the best. Let them Brown. know that we're, we're the best. best. Let them know that we're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best and we're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best and we're the best. We're the breasts. 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 We're the breasts.